Public speaking is not a problem to me. I did a lot of workshops, I moderate a lot of meetings, but tonight I have thousands of butterflies in my stomach. Maybe it's a different story if you are giving a message to your son on his wedding day. I believe so. Cheryl and I have been friends for almost a decade now, which is strange since we were actually never meant to be friends. Um, Cheryl and I met in Biology 11, where Cheryl ignored every empty seat in the room and sat herself down next to me, tapped me on the shoulder and was like, how are you? And I was like, man, this girl's crazy. It turns out Cheryl had mistaken me for my fellow bridesmaid here, Tara. From that moment on, we were inseparable. Cheryl, we have shared many laughters and many tears. And I can't wait to share more memories with you as you walk with friends, not just as a girlfriend, not just as a fiance, but as his wife. Today, everybody here is inspired by your love. I think that's why we all come to weddings not only to celebrate, but to be inspired again and again and again. And we want you to know that your unity and your love is very special. And we want to share that with you today as your family and as your community. You might not know or might be looking for miracles, in everyday life, marriage is one of them. And we're all witnesses to that. Like all younger brothers, I always looked up to you. And sometimes quite literally, because you took all the height in the family. On top of that, you were actually the most influential father figure of my life. Growing up in a single mom household, it was tough, but having you as a role model uh, really shaped me to become the person that I am. I was saying to a friend of mine that uh, Cheryl will be getting married. It's difficult to see our youngest daughter leaving home. Then she said to me, look at it this way, and if look at it on the bright side of life. You are not really losing a daughter, but you are gaining a son, and that is France. And you know what? He was already practicing since yesterday to call me Papa. <laughs> Friends, welcome to our family. Today, I become your husband. I vow to always keep God in the center of our relationship. I vow to lead our family to have a closer relationship with Him. I vow to be your sword and shield, always ready to protect you. I vow to always put a smile on your face. The same way you always put a smile on my face. It still feels so surreal to me that today I stand before my bestest friend in the whole world. And I also get to call him my husband. Your heart is 